Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4 BMG, something a little different today, an unboxing, not in the traditional sense, you know, I don't do that, but what's this about? Radiotity sent this to me at my request, and let me show you what we're going to talk about today and why I'm going to unbox it. It's summertime, storms will blow through the Tampa Bay area on short notice, and in the evening, if the power goes out, I like to have something I can grab and very quickly get functional to provide light to figure out the next steps. I have all the emergency preparedness gear scattered all throughout the house. There's usually lights on multiple sides of the house. And to me, this looked like an interesting item that Radiotity just recently introduced. Why would I unbox it? Well, because I'm not going to look at the instructions. Why would I do that? I always get scolded when I don't review instructions, but let me tell you why not on something like this. I don't intend to use it every day. I'm past the years of going camping. Did that with my boys many years ago. They're all grown and out of the house. I like the comfort of my bed. Not going camping. This is not a camping lantern for me. This is an emergency preparedness piece of gear that has a lantern, a battery backup, a radio, um, a weather radio setup. And so to me, this is when the power goes out, something I can grab and can it quickly work for me? Because I use it sparingly, I don't really have it memorized. You should memorize all your gear, Bob. Well, listen, I have so many pieces of gear, I can't remember how everything works. I've deleted enough childhood memories for the gear that I do use on a frequent basis. I don't want to give up any more of my childhood memories. So whatever I use in emergency preparedness has to be able to come out of the drawer and be functional right from the get-go. That's the reason for the unboxing without looking at the instructions. So I think you understand the perspective here. I want this to be intuitive out of the box. And if it is, then it's allowed to be part of my emergency preparedness. Now, one of the good things about Radiotity is they are usually price conscious. I have some other gear that is brand named gear and I've had mixed reactions to it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Some of the batteries did not have a very long uh, lasting battery life. I couldn't recharge them and that annoyed me. So some of the Radiotity gear can be economical. This really looked fantastic to me and that's why I had the interest in this particular thing. It had an interesting look on the website and I just wanted to get my hands on it. You're seeing it with me for the first time. Has a nice carry bag. That's not going to help me in the dark, but it is nice if you are one of those people that wants to go camping. Okay, let me talk to you real quick about what this feels like. It has substance to it. It has a plastic feel that is kind of one of the softer type plastics, almost like a rubberized, not quite rubberized, but definitely does not have a toy feel. It has a piece of camping or emergency gear feel. It is not metal. It is polymer, but it's one of those polymers that has a soft finish on the outside. I kind of like that. So when I first look at it, I have a good impression. This is just a foam piece on the handle. We'll take that off later. I won't use your time for that. So I think when I grab this, the first thing I wanna know is how quickly can I turn on my lights? Well, let's get over to our other camera and see if what I think is going to happen is going to happen. Yep, let's just pull this up. Is that what happens? And there you have it, instant light. Great feature. So I'm already liking this. This would be one of the things I would want to have this on both sides of the house so that when the power goes out, I go grab it, I pull it out of the drawer or off the shelf, I lift this up and instantaneously I have light. Great feature, happy about that. Okay, on the bottom, we appear to have another light. Let's check this out. There are two buttons here. I'm going to say those, well, we, it looks like we have a flashlight and we have an SOS, so I presume that means the light is going to blink. So let's check our flashlight. Whoa, right into the camera. <laughs> Point that away from the camera. Is it simply an on-off? I'm pressing and holding. It is simply an on-off. Well, no. A second quick push gives you a flash. Third push off. So one push on, second push flash, third push off. Again, intuitive. I've not read instructions. I've not seen anything on YouTube about this. I don't think there are any reviews out on this yet. Let's see what the SOS feature is. So I presume some other light sequence. All right, short press nothing. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay, 
All right. So uh, I, I don't quite know how that came through my microphone. My microphone is directional, number one. And number two, I have software on it <laughs> that blocks out loud sounds. So if that came through normal sounding to you, it's because my software did its job. But what just happened was this thing uh, started flashing lights and a very loud siren kicked in. So SOS here is a long press maybe two seconds, three seconds, and what it means is I'm in trouble. Somebody listen for this siren. Somebody see my flashing light. So this would be if you were really in trouble, and this is almost like a distress signal. Okay, so we've got a flashlight button, and let's call it a distress signal that puts out a siren and flashes red and blue. Is that what that was? Let's do it again. Yes red and blue. Well, that'll get somebody's attention. So far, I'm liking what I see here. What else do we have? Okay, here on the side, we have a DC in and a USB out. So this must be for charging and then for backup power. It is rubberized. So it looks like we have USB-C in for charging right here closest, and then a normal, I think that's USB-A, isn't it? And that would be for charging. I assumed it had this. Let's see what that does with my iPhone. And let's just confirm that that immediately goes to charge. And yes, it does. That immediately goes to charge. So what you have here is the ability to charge gear using the USB-A and the ability to recharge this internal battery. I think it's a 10,000 milliamp hour with a USB-C in. All right, another great feature. So far, Radiodity is hitting on all cylinders. This is the first time I've asked for something like this from Radiodity because quite frankly, and to be honest, I haven't seen anything else on their website that really interested me up till this point. When I saw this piece of gear, I liked how it looked and it seemed to have the types of features that I would be interested in. All right, here's another thing that we have beyond charging with that USB-C, we have a solar on the top. Looks like we've got some protective film there. We all know what we need to do with that. Let's just get that off of there. Now, I don't really know what to think about you, uh, uh, solar panels like this. Are these really effective? Are these really going to charge things up quickly? No. Is there any harm in having it there? No. Can it help a little bit? Yes. So I guess if this were in the sunlight and outside, probably just shining it from my uh, camera light here would make it begin to charge. But I'm not going to depend on this to charge unless I'm in a desperate situation or if I could sit it outside for a long period of time because I was already outside. The more interesting thing to me here is the crank. This has a crank for charging. So you have USB-C in for charging, you have solar for charging, and then you have the ability to crank for charging. So that I am a fan of. What's left? What's left would be what appears to be um, a, a radio setup. So let's go to our overhead cam here and see if we can get a good look at the radio here and what options come with this. All right, so we have an on-off switch. Let's see what happens with the on-off switch. I'm immediately in AM mode. Where's an antenna? Let me take the volume down. Volume button is very intuitive. Down, up, and we've got uh, back and forward arrows. I presume that is for, yeah, that's for tuning. So let's get our volume down until we find, do we have any antenna here anywhere? We do have an antenna. And it tilts. Perfect. Okay. Now, let me just give you a side shot of that real quick so you can see what the antenna looks like. Here's the antenna. Back to overhead. Let's get the instructions out of the way because we decided we weren't going to use them. Let's see. How do I get probably from AM... To FM, I would just hit the M button. Okay. Bluetooth, I'm not plugging Bluetooth in. Here's FM. Yep, FM is working. AM, weather broadcast. Let's see. Saturday night, mostly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the upper 70s. Winds around 5 miles. 
Okay, so that's the weather channel. Let's see, I guess. Yep, this is how we cycle through the weather channels. These buttons forward and back. So seven is the weather channel that this tiny antenna is able to pick up. And obviously outside reception would be better. So is there anything else on this that would be important to me that I can discover right now? I don't see anything else that I can discover right now. For an emergency preparedness radio, battery backup, flashlight to have in my home for when storms come and take out my power, which happens every summer, I think this is a pretty cool piece of gear. Well, that came to me fully charged. So we have a charge indicator here on the side. Let's go ahead and turn the power off to this. I guess now I'm going to have to look at the instructions and see what else might be here. I think I've covered it all. It looks like there's a speaker on both sides, so it would have pretty good sound. I don't know what else to say right now because I haven't looked at the instructions, but I think this is a pretty decent piece of gear. I have no complaints. This is kind of what I was expecting when I asked Radioddity to send this to me. And again, thank you folks over at Radioddity for giving me the opportunity to take a look at this. I would say at $59, which it is on their website today in July of 2023, I think that's a pretty fair price for something with this much capability. I think for a 10,000 milliamp hour uh, power pack on Amazon, you're probably paying between $20 to $30, depending on what the branding is. And here you have so much more functionality with this and you have the ability to crank charge again solar charge i really don't know what that's going to add but it, it can't hurt and then to have the weather am fm and the weather station and bluetooth so i presume i could hook my phone up to this and play whatever is on my phone through these speakers again haven't read the instructions again back to not reading the instructions why would i do that emergency preparedness i only want to use this twice a year three times a year, storms that take out my power in the Tampa Bay area. I can't remember these features for that amount of limited use. So I have to take it out of a container, out of a drawer, off a shelf, and it should be so intuitive that I can use it immediately. And it absolutely was. I will go back and read the instructions. I'll make sure that I didn't miss anything. But as I look over the totality of this, I think I've covered everything that it can do. Maybe there's something else I'm missing but I think that's it. I think this is a pretty good value. I would spend my money on this. I didn't have to, Radioddity did send it to me. I did notice it's on their website right now with a 10% discount. So if that's something that's of interest to you, let me go over to my secondary screen and bring that up. Well, let's get the right thing up there on the screen. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below to my Radioddity uh, affiliate account. If you spent more than $65, you could get 15% off. But this is already at $59.99, so my affiliate link doesn't do you any good unless you add something to it. And right now, it looks like there's a 10% discount code there. So it may be a value to you. If you're looking for something like this that is reasonably priced and could be there for you in an emergency situation right now, here it is over at the Radioddity site. So that's it for today. I've accomplished my objective of trying to understand whether or not this is good gear from what limited exposure I have right now. It is. It's still July. Power hasn't gone out yet here in Tampa Bay. This is ready to go. It's fully charged. This is going to be on the shelf, ready to go the first time the power goes out. Of course, I'll already have my HT lined up and ready to go so that I can listen to the local repeaters in Skywarn and all the other places that I pay attention to, people that are talking about storms that are coming. We have a very good network here for that in the Tampa Bay area, which I'm very grateful for. Rambling's over. Again, this is an unusual video for me. I don't do unboxings. I don't do unscripted. I don't really script my videos, have thoughts, and I do multiple takes until I like what I said. This is out of the box. Didn't know exactly what I was going to say until I saw what the features were. We've covered them together. Hope this was useful for you, friend. Talk to you soon. 73.